Hi everyone, this is Izzy with House of Alice Rose and today we have recording artist Evie and she'll be giving us insight into her EP Gumption. Hey girl, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. No problem, so let's jump right in. All right. What does Gumption mean to you? Gumption means having the guts uh, to say what you need to say when it matters, having the courage to say whatever it is that you have to say um, even though uh, it may seem hard at the time to do it. Oh wow, very powerful word. Now, can you give us a little insight about on the album? Um, yeah, the album is, I, I kind of wanted the, the album to be more of like a story. You know, I want each song to tell a story, and that was important to me. So the album has to do a lot with uh, relationships that, that I've had, and relationships of uh, those close to me, and I kind of, uh, you know, as depicted by me uh, in, the, in the album. That is mm -hmm. awesome. Now tell us a little bit about your background. Where are you from? I'm from the Bronx, Boogie Down. Oh, awesome. So would we be listening to a little hip-hop in here? What kind of genre do you consider gumption? I consider gumption to be, you know, pop, blues, you know, on iTunes it's listed under pop. Uh, but I consider it to have a, a blues kind of uh, jazz fusion to it as well. Mm -hmm. I have heard it and it's extremely bluesy, especially inconsolable. It was a very strong song. I mean, just listening to your, you singing it, it has so much emotion to it. Can you tell us a little bit about Inconsolable? Yeah, Inconsolable is that girl. And I mean, it, it can really be anyone, but for me, when I was writing it, it's, it's about that girl that likes to pretend that everything is okay and it's just so hard for her to hide when really um, she's in a lot of pain, you know? So that's what that was about. So it's safe to say that Inconsolable is your favorite song? Yes, it is my favorite song. That was why, I mean, I placed it number one on, on the EP. I thought it just really hit home and I thought a lot of people, a lot of females in general can relate to uh, feeling like that, to just feeling like you can't, you, you have to keep a front, you know, because you don't want anyone to know, you know, how you're feeling and that you're suffering and I think that's just a strong moment for you. Yes. So. Well, all your songs are very relatable, but my favorite was Going Crazy, which is number four, on the, I mean, I'm sorry, number five in the CD. Can you tell me a little background on that song or is this... A little private. <laughs> yeah, um, no, no, I can, I can tell you about the song, sure. Um, well, Going Crazy is a personal one of mine, and um, it, it was basically, I was on the phone with someone that I was in a relationship with, and I was actually feeling a lot of, uh, feeling a lot of emotions about where the relationship was going. Um, it was long distance, and I just, I felt very vulnerable, and I was going through other things at that time, so, you know, um, I may have been feeling a little bit insecure about the relationship, but um, when we spoke on the phone, he said that I was being crazy. <laughs> and, um, yeah. You never call the a girl crazy. The fellas gotta know. You can't call a girl crazy. No, you can't. So, <laughs> um, that actually inspired the song. So the song isn't really like a I hate thing or anything that, um, it's not me yelling at this guy, it's just Your me thoughts. basically saying, hey, this is why I, I feel the way that I feel. Awesome. I did notice in your city because I listened to it a couple of times is that it kind of starts a little dark and it brightens up and at the end it's so bright and I love it. Did you do that on purpose or did it just happen? Um, I think it kind of just happened. Um, no, I think it just kind of happened. I didn't, I didn't expect that it to be that, that way. I just think it just, I don't know, maybe that's something to say about the EP, you know? That is awesome. Yeah. So I noticed on iTunes you're under Indie. Yes. Are you currently signed to a record label? Are you considering one? I'm not uh, currently assigned to a record label and I'm not opposed to signing with a record label. Um, at the same time, I just want to say that, you know, yes, I am an independent artist and, and I enjoy the freedom of being an independent artist. Shout out to all the independent artists yeah. out there because um, they're doing their thing and they're doing it by themselves. So, um, uh, but with that, yes, I'm, I'm not opposed to just signing. Awesome. Any current projects that you are working on? I am actually working on a project and this is a, an international project that, I, that I'm getting into and I am collaborating with someone else. So um, you guys should be hearing that sometime soon by the end of the year, I hope. I hope so. That's exciting. That's very exciting. So tell us a little bit about your style. Mm -hmm. uh, I love vintage. Do you? Yeah, vintage is... I think it's so cool because vintage clothes, they have a story to tell, you yes. know? It's like, uh, it's older, it just, it's unique. Not many people are out there wearing it. So yeah, I love vintage. Would you, would you be opposed to um, 
wearing something a little bit more modern like to an award show or anything but a uh, designer calls you and it's like hey can you wear this and you, you're like oh well it's not really vintage would you wear it or would you, would you kind of be the kind uh, no, I, I I wouldn't be opposed. I, I would love it to be vintage, though. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. I would I would gear more towards the vintage, but I I like uh, clothing that is inspired by vintage just as much. So if it just has that quality and that look, yeah, I can, awesome. I, I I can do that. I can pull it off. Awesome. <laughs> so we have this segment every month. It's the essential of the month. What's one thing that you cannot live without? Hair gel. Hair gel. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah. I don't know. My lipstick. Hair gel, eyeliner. No, you said yeah, one, a couple but of I'm giving you a couple. <laughs> That's awesome. I yeah. have a couple of them too. So, can you tell us where we can find a little bit more about you and the album? Yeah, um, I'm on Reverb Nation under Evie's Music. I have a website, uh, eviesmusic.com, and the album can be fully streamed on there right now. Um, mm. And uh, that's pretty much it. Twitter. Twitter. Follow her on Twitter. Yeah. Um, and the Twitter album's page. available on iTunes. It is available on iTunes as well. Um, look for a title, Gumption or Evie, and then you'll find it. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. Do you have anything to say to your fans? I do. Uh, thank you so much for your support. It means a lot to me, and uh, you know, I, I promise that I won't let you down. <laughs> well, this has been Izzy with House of Alice Rose, interviewing recording artist Evie. You'll find all the information at the end of the video. Thank you for being with us. Bye. I want to console